Hi, I'm Tony Young and welcome to this episode of Hunt Florida TV. Uh, this is the third part in our food plot series that we're going to do. And, uh, you know, the University of Florida's IFAS recommends that you wait until after October 1st to plant your, uh, your fall cool weather food plots uh, in Florida. Uh, another thing, you, you want to plant your plot when the soil has got some moisture in it, which it rained a couple days ago, so the soil's got some good moisture in it. And also, you want to plant your food plot when there's rain in the near forecast, which uh, it looks like we're going to get some rain later this afternoon. So today's a perfect day to, to plant. And uh, right now, I'm just waiting on my friend to uh, bring me his tractor, and uh, we're going to get started tilling this plot up. When thinking about good food plot sites, avoid excessively wet or dry areas. Look to create these plantings along an edge where upland pines meet a hardwood drain. Follow the contour of the land and when possible, create them where the length of your plot runs east-west. That way, your crop will receive the most direct sunlight. Alright, we're going uh, to plant our plot uh, this year with uh, Tretacali. Uh, the deer and turkey really like it and uh, it does well out here. so. Uh, that's what we're going to use, but Florida's with Florida sandy soil, you know, it's best to stick with rye, wheat, and oat type grains because they work the best in Florida soil. I like to use these five gallon buckets to help me get it in here better. All right, well, as you can see, uh, we got out, uh, I put out all the seeds, so now it's time to put the fertilizer out. Uh, I'm choosing 13, 13, 13 this year, and uh, I like to kind of do uh, uh, two pounds of fertilizer for every one pound of seed. So we're about to do that right now, and let me go ahead and put on this little mask here. Well, not over yet. Uh, the uh, toughest part is up to, uh, left to come, uh, and that is uh, I'm going to manually uh, take an old piece of chain link fencing, and I'm going to uh, manually drag it like a like an old mule uh, across uh, this plot so that it buries the seed and the fertilizer about a quarter inch because that's what it wants. So, uh, whew, stay with us. Well, we got, uh, we got our plot in the ground, got the seed, uh, got the fertilizer, everything's covered about a quarter inch, just perfect. So uh, thank you for tuning in to this uh, final episode on food plots. And uh, come the end of October, uh, I should have some nice green grass coming up out of the ground, and the deer and turkey are going to love it. Uh, and if you can't tell, it looks like it's going to rain any minute, so perfect timing. So again, thank you for tuning in. Uh, happy hunting this year. Oh, and uh, if you don't have a tractor, Make friends with someone who does. Uh, we'll see you next time.